I'm Daryl Strawberry. I'm just delighted to be here. <laughs> and you're listening to Black Hat Out with Denver and Derek. Get <laughs> fucked. Fucked, I'm gonna get. I'm already liking that shit, man. Yeah. Fucking right, right here. Yeah. Let's let this ride out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Raise your fucking horns. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking right. Welcome to Blacking Out with Denver and Derek. The only podcast dedicated to not remembering what the podcast is about. Yeah. We have a podcast. Yeah. This is episode one. Yeah. Every episode is the first <laughs> fucking episode. Because we fuck them all up equally. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... We got a lot of shit to say, I guess. Probably. <laughs> Yeah. We drank a little bit before this one. Yeah, we rode this one. Uh, <laughs> we didn't want to fuck <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, we rode this one out a little bit. Yeah, we did. It was great. But, yeah, we didn't want to start recording. Yeah. We just wanted to keep doing what we were doing. Yeah, we were just kind of boys in the shed, uh, <laughs> sharing our fucking life problems for a while. Pretty much. But, yeah. <laughs> Having some cold brews. Damn right. That's what this podcast is about. We like to have a lot of cold drinks. Uh, warm, actually, warm drinks suck, dude. Go to Alaska if you want a warm drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because warm drinks suck. Yeah, exactly. It's the only podcast is dedicated to making sure you're getting your proper amount of essential oils and vitamins. Totally. Yeah, got to do that shit. I took a. Uh, I've been taking uh, calcium. Uh, I've been taking two Tylenol almost every day for my back. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mine gets like that, and I use uh, what the fuck is it? Excedrin. Excedrin? Does that work? Back and body it or works. some shit like that? Yeah, it works pretty good. I feel like somebody's frogged me behind the shoulder get, blades like I, every day. I get the regular like severe strength Excedrin, whatever my fucking wisdom tooth hurts. Oh Jesus! Yeah. But I never got the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's roll, man. Well, this is my week to do the playlist uh, that I'm calling Seven Inches in Heaven. Oh. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. yeah. Man. A bunch of EPs. Because it's a bunch of, this is my EP playlist. Uh, it's a bunch of, mostly I started off by putting a bunch of the seven inch records that I had together. Mm-hmm. And then I just started putting basically like three song EPs and stuff. Uh, this is the new Molder demo, mm-hmm. and it's fucking incredible. Yeah, this is already something I'm going to get into right Yeah. Now. Next up, I have Noose, and uh, one of the bands we're covering on this episode is Death Cult, yeah. And Death Cult, their guitar player went on to form Noose, and Death Cult's still a band, but they're on hold, and he's doing Noose now. I got their three-song EP on here. I got a split with Funeral Circle and Gatekeeper. I got the Yoppers. They have a 7-inch that I bought, which contains a special cover song. Is, it a, uh, is that a newer one? Or? It has one song off of Boy in the Well and then a cover song. Oh, right on. So, uh... Well, hell yeah. Yeah, it's I'm good. I'm sure out of all of that, I'll know when the offers come on. Yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah, the rest of it's actually, like, black rack shit, yeah. so... Uh, and then I noticed whenever I was making... I was looking at the playlist today that it was less than an hour long, so I threw a Power from Hell album on at the end of it. And it's still considered an EP because it's pretty short, but it's long enough that it broke an hour 30. So. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking nice. So what do we want to talk about real quick? Well, 
What you got? I could probably just muster up something. You see? See, That's is that the fucking annoying? That's okay, talk noise. about that. <laughs> All right, man. Like, I guess Messenger, uh, they updated, like, Every, like everybody shit and so now that's the fucking noise when you get a message and can you imagine sucks, man. that you know what I'm saying that I hate any sucks. noise other than like a single fucking yeah. tone that just like dude don't fucking change shit just quit ringtones and fucking text tones are, are stupid like they, they like become the, annoying instantly yeah because the only thing I re- like I can see that they've changed is that fucking annoying thing yeah so, yeah. I don't know. But we're all in night mode. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, Night mode is just cooler, yeah. no matter what you're on. Yeah. If you don't know about night mode, fucking get it. Yeah. Do that night mode shit. Yeah, dude, you'll fucking My rock. whole life is night mode. Rock the world, dude. Hey, dude. Catch up. Oh. <laughs> Get it? Catch it. Oh, yeah. oh! Yeah. God damn it, I was left in the dark. <laughs> I was left yeah. in the dark in my yeah. fucking night mode. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't must turn. Jesus, uh, are you going to do that? Let's go. That is fucking... That's shittier than toilet paper that comes back for seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, let me say something real quick. Me and Derek, uh, we've known each other... For I don't know, a good three, four years, and uh, so we're comfortable with uh, sending each other shit pics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to talk about that? And he sent one that I forgot what the fuck it said, and uh, it was just liquefied. You know when you pl- you plunge the fucking oh, toilet? No, that wasn't a shit it, picture. <laughs> and uh, all it was was fucking just like liquefied fucking toilet paper. Yeah, just like beat up yeah. ravaged toilet paper. Yeah, you beat that and shit I said up. And so- I said something about like, just blew my load or something like yeah. that. <laughs> and it did look like that. Yeah, that's why I was pissed so at I was, it. So I was like, what the fuck did you do, man? Yeah, I was like, I was pissing in the toilet and I was pissing all over the toilet paper, shredding it. <laughs> <laughs> and after I got done, I was like, that looks like just a yeah, fuck dude. ton of jizz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I took a picture of it. Yeah. It was like, just jerked one. Yeah. Uh, was, well, yeah, well, yeah, maybe you should post that picture, definitely, so they know what we're talking about. It was nuts. Nuts. But, but uh, yeah. What you got? Not much after that. <laughs> no, no. I guess we'll go into the first album. Go oh, do it all. already? Well, you yeah. know. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Uh, That's what we're first? here for, eh? You going first? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go on about the album that you gave me. All right, let's go. You suppose a kangaroo would actually want to fuck a person? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know, man. You think, like, of all the animal spectrum, you think the kangaroo would be the first one to want to fuck a person? Mm, it, yes, if not close. I think so, too. Whenever I first heard the lyric, I would never want to get fucked by, in any position, by a kangaroo. I was like, what? But then after thinking about it, I bet the kangaroos are could see a, a human and be horny for it. I mean, humans box them and shit. Right? They say some shit about bears like trying to fuck people sometimes. Uh, I think it's all a size issue. It's all about like if they're almost human size, huh. maybe they want to fuck them. believe them. that's what you're saying. Though. That's what I'm going to open with. Okay. I don't at first, I was skeptical. I don't think that there would be any reason for a kangaroo to want to fuck a person. This. But, after close consideration, a kangaroo might be the first animal to want to fuck a person. Other than an ape. Apes don't matter, because that's what we are. We yeah, we are. Yeah. So, right. Two years later, we're... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So whenever you first gave me this album, which is, uh, oh, <laughs> Biffy Clyro, is that how you say it? Okay. Yeah. With Lonely Revolutions. Yeah, only. Only? Only Revolutions. Okay, I kept finding misspellings in this album, like, uh, 
first, whenever you sent it to me, I don't know if it was misspelled or your autocorrect or whatever, but it was Billy Clyro. So that's how I found uh, the band is I searched them. Okay. And then whenever I found the band, instead of only Revolutions, uh, it was The message lonely. I sent was Biffy, uh, it Billy. It was Billy, yeah. <laughs> so I thought it was a one-man project. I usually check that. Oh, uh, we... single man project I thought that uh, and whenever I looked it up it was yeah it was only revolutions and lonely which one is it only revolutions it's only so I yeah. thought it was lonely yeah but yeah it's only revolutions okay that makes a little bit more sense anyways but then the first song I thought like I thought I picked it up in the first song you know like, I knew what the album was going to be about the first song is kind of slow and sad, but it's got a little rock vibe to it. Oh. So I was like, okay, this is the kind of album oh, that I'm going to Yeah, that's, that is it. Uh, and that's what I set my 55-minute journey to, because I've seen this album 55 minutes long, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but... Uh, it really kind of picks up after that. Like, there's a couple of songs that are slower, more, like, emotional. This is like an adult alternative rock album. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, where are they from? Uh, I got it I'm pretty here. sure they're from Australia. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Australia? Uh, well, yeah, by the way, Daniel Cobrier. Yeah, check them out if you haven't. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, geez. They're pretty popular from what I can see. Like, they're a pretty big band. They are now. now. That was, like, their first, like... I guess that you could say it was their they had like through album. Right. Yeah. They had like four or five songs that were listed as like hits and singles and stuff yeah. like that off yeah. of just this album. Uh, you're going to want to slap a parental guidance sticker on this album because there's some dirty language on it. It definitely is. Yeah. Uh, like, piss down my back. Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. Yeah. Yeah, that's on there. That old classic. The old goody. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fuck death away. That's in there. Yeah. Like, repeated as a chorus. Yeah. There's the whole kangaroo, fucked by a kangaroo lyric that I brought up. There's a song that was like, kept saying something like, this is the dick slap. So. I don't even remember that. Chop. Mothers lock up your daughters. Oh, yeah. I, I think these guys. Mom, yeah. I think they're, these guys are a little gonna, vulgar. We're gonna start a war or something. Yeah. yeah. Can you feel the dick slap? Dick slap. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, like I said, the first song I really thought it was gonna be ventured off into like a more sad adult alternative like rock album that's. Uh, Emotional, and you know, goes through all the the symptoms of a breakup and whatever would have you. Uh, but it's really a fun, like, entertaining rock album, and it's not going to mean anything to anyone. Whenever I say this, but they really remind me of a band called Ta- uh, not t- <laughs> called Six Ways to Sunday. It was like a local band that played around here, and I was really into them. They were they called themselves emo, but they were so rock. Yeah. And, like, members of the band were so not emo that I was like, it didn't fit the fucking bill, you know? Yeah. And some of the lyrics were kind of funny. That's the same way with this album. Some of the lyrics are really entertaining and funny. Uh, I was telling Denver earlier that a lot of the lyrics don't match up to the song titles, so I wasn't sure, like, which song I was listening to. Yeah. Like, I only got to listen to this album a few times on YouTube. So I had to, like, peek at the track listing every now and then, but I would always miss a song or some shit like that. But, uh, there's a lot of good shit on this album. I really, really liked it. Awesome. Yeah, like, it's it's a... I, at no point was I not entertained by this album. Dude, I've showed a few friends this in the past. Because it came out in, like, 2000... Or... <laughs> Five or six, I think, Something maybe. Something like that. I yeah, think, I'm not maybe, sure. Maybe even nine. I, I usually know. look that stuff up and then, like, make notes about I bu- it. I bought the album at Best Buy. Oh. This is way back. This was when, uh, you know how there's those fucking music channels on your TV? Yeah. The and Music was, Choice? Yeah, 
yeah, I was listening to one and it had the song fucking Mountains on there. Yeah. And I liked it. And then the next time it had the song Bubbles. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm going to get this fucking. I mean, a bubble sold me. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you did yeah. that thing that we used to do back in the day where you yeah. heard a couple songs off yeah. of an album. So, and this and is one Best it. Buy, like, they had a very good CD fucking uh, display. Yeah. And so yeah, I bought, now it's like a corner, like a shady corner. Oh, uh, man. The last time I went there was to buy Every Time I Die's uh, huh, X Life. Oh, yeah? And, that was a while. And that was whenever it was just, dude, it was like three little shelves of fucking CDs. Yeah. And then I was like, holy shit, man. I used to always find the coolest shit at Best Buy. And I went there one time with like, the like, first time that I ever was like, I'm going to go to Best Buy. I'm going to make a fucking list of yeah. stuff to look for. And I mostly added like old classic kind of stuff that I knew I was going to find. Yeah. Like the first Black Sabbath and like early Venom and stuff like I was like I should be able to find these albums in a Best Buy yeah. cause wasn't there a Best Buy in the mall um no there was a Suncoast I forgot but that was my main thing but it's across like, the street from the mall yeah that so. was my main thing to, was to go there yeah to look at CDs and then it was, it was just as big as going to the mall like yeah. go to Best Buy dude like all the, yeah. the CDs are there oh Sam so, Goody was in the mall that's what it, yeah, yeah that's it so after so whatever I couldn't find at Sam Goody, I go to Best Buy. Fucking Best Buy. Yeah. Man, for the first time I ever heard of Wolves in the Throne Room, yeah. I went to Best Buy and they had a Wolves in the Throne Room CD and it was fifteen bucks. Yeah. And I was like, I flipped it over and there were four songs on the fucking thing. And I said, I'm not paying fifteen bucks for four songs. I threw that motherfucker back. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went home and listened to it and realized that each song was like fifteen minutes long. Yeah. And was like, oh. This would have been a good purchase. Yeah. And I would probably actually enjoy listening to Wolves in the Throne Room now. Yeah. Instead of just being kind of indifferent. Guys. I like them. They're a good band, but I don't really care. Yeah. So this is pe- this is things like people will never know about. Like, I could be in Best Buy. I found and, a and, severe and torture I could, I could, album. I could probably spend two... I could have probably spent two hours in there just looking at shit. I used to buy shit that just looked cool. I did too all the time. Yeah. And I've gotten a lot of great bands because of that. That's that's, that used to be the way to fucking figure it out. Exactly. You just bought shit that looked good and then you went home and decided if you liked it or not. Yeah. I miss that shit. But kind of like how they did with movies and shit. You're like, oh, this looks like a good movie. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Well, with uh, Biffy Clyro. Said it's a, it's like an adult alternative rock album, and I guess that's the kind of thing the kids are into these days. They seem like they're they're pretty well off. They're doing good. They're doing good for themselves. See, I haven't really heard much after that album. I've heard like some other stuff. Yeah, they've, they've gotten which, which, which oh, they're they're huge now. Yeah, but like in Australia and stuff. Yeah, they're huge here, like in parts. But uh, I'm kind of uh, surprised that I don't see more people listening to them. Yeah, after that album though. Like I listen to some of their stuff, I just didn't care for it. Yeah. That album, I fucking love. That's cool. Uh, there was a lot of stuff like in the lyrics. It just wasn't something that I understood. You know, like some of their lyrics are just so fucking weird. So maybe one down more. I keep turning it up. <laughs> They're uh. What do you mean their shit's misunderstood? Maybe. It could be that. I just I've, I've just found the lyrics really weird and strange. They were things that I couldn't really relate to. I remember uh, that CD, I uh, let Dustin borrow it to listen to it. Yeah. Which I never got it back, just because oh, I forgot. Yeah. But uh, he fucking did not like it at all. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I was like, if anybody would like it, Dustin would like it. He probably couldn't stand it. So. I liked it. I like I said, it was completely entertaining. It, it may not be something that I would buy, yeah. but it's something that I'm glad that I heard. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that I, and I'm going to listen to it again. And I will probably check out some of their other stuff. 
even though you said that some of it's not that great. Yeah. But yeah, like it's it's something. It's good for a music fan, for a person who loves music. Yeah. And you're not really genre biased it'll, about stuff. It'll put you put you in a good yeah, fucking yeah, mood. Good, good for springtime, man. Uh, yeah, springtime, and it's got a it's got a real good like. It'll make you laugh here and there, yeah. you know. Like, it, it's got the whole emotional tie and stuff. Like, you're gonna feel yeah, some shit listening to the album, and you're also gonna laugh a little bit listening to the album because some of the lyrics are funny. Yeah. And, well, uh, yeah, I think a lot of that is because the way Australians talk. It could be. I think a lot of it is because of that. Yeah. Like, you know, their sayings and stuff. Right. Yeah, I think the things that I'm not understanding with the lyrics are because they're slang for something else, yeah. and we don't know it. Yeah. Like, there's a whole song, I mean, and it's mostly... huge. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole song, and it's mostly based around relationships and sexual activity, mm-hmm. and then the chorus is, robbery, robbery, this is a robbery. Yeah. And I go, like, what? I don't... What? <laughs> like, I don't know what that's about, really. And then there's other like rain, like strange random lyrics kind of thrown into it. Yeah. And I just didn't fucking know, like. But I, I did enjoy it. Good. So I would probably yeah. give it. How many uh, out of five tall cans? Tall cans would give it three drunk kangaroos looking to fuck. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Still you. I'll settle for that one, man. So, no body shaming aside, if you had to fuck a woman with a with an animal's body, but she was like you, you, like it was completely human, but she had the shape of an animal's body. So, but a human face. Yeah. You, you could you could run her blood for DNA, and it'd be like, hey, that's 100 percent human right there. It's just kind of shaped like something else. Yeah. What <laughs> what animal would you uh, pick? A manaroo. What the fuck is a manaroo? Like a, uh, oh, minaroo. Min- minaroo? Like, uh, you know, the fucking minotaur or whatever the fuck. Like a centaur? Yeah. Like a half horse? Yeah, a ha- half man, half kangaroo. Oh, half man, half kangaroo? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't even know about this creature. Yeah. All right. Dude, a roo. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Fucking like dude a rig. Yeah, this this album's talking about a dude a rig going around Australia destroying fucking bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's a concept album, really. Yeah. <laughs> Real relationships. Yeah. yeah. Because of his dude a rig winner. Yeah. yeah. And all the fucking stray boyfriends are like, you're fucking that thing. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, dude. Dude a rig's got a big dick. Yeah. Dude a rig. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to play Boom, Blast, and Ruin. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Smoke weed.
And now, here is our beloved Derek with a spoken word piece you will never forget. Moving, turning, butter churning. Wheels on the bus go round and round. I'm almost there, squinting eyes to see more blind. But her pussy still looks like a loose meat sandwich stomped in a moldy carpet. She's public transportation. Lighters blaze, the hungry scream. Everyone wants more. Frampton comes alive, but I'm starboard side. Not me, he won't. I'm the captain of this tugboat. I set my clocks to the future. I set my sock drawer on fire. I can't afford 97 abortions, and I don't believe in evolution. <laughs> Badass. Yeah. I like the Fram Frampton's Came Alive part. Every fucking, like, whenever I used to work in the other... I, I thought he was about to say, everybody loves that part. <laughs> but then I was like, everybody, I was like, everybody like, was crazy. Who listens? Like, yeah, where do you go to the old mine's house? <laughs> everybody <laughs> down at the Bongo Club goes crazy over Frampton. Yeah. Now, uh, we, uh, I used to work in another department at my job. And they always had a radio blazing. Yeah. And, uh, fucking Frampton comes alive. Like, there's like two or three songs they play off that album on the radio. Mm -hmm. And that shit felt like it was always on. And I was like, what is this god awful shit? And then it was like, do you feel like I do? And I'm like, yeah. ah, it's Frampton comes alive again. Yeah. How many times is this guy gonna come back? Dude. <laughs> I don't really get that shit. I don't understand it either. But, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, hey, man, here's something, man. Oh, he's got some shit. Did we tell the story about the time, like, when we lived together, time somebody stole all our cans? No. Oh, we didn't? I'm, I'm actually kind of not sure what which time that happened, because it happened to me many times. Okay, whenever, like, we lived together up the road, and, uh... You know, we would have parties, like, dude, we'd have parties every single week, and it was ridiculous. And your mom would, uh... Two days a week. She would give us those giant fucking oh, yeah. eggs. Oh, yeah. And we would put our cans in there. Like, these were, like, ridiculous They were bags. industrial size, like... Yeah. You could probably fit five bucks worth of cans in them. Yeah. Beef. And, uh, dude, one of those bags would be easily, easily 40 bucks. Well, right? no, it was like five bucks. One of those, one of those bags? Yeah. It was five bucks? No. I, okay. It's easily well, let's, 40 bucks. Let's think about it. Uh, okay. I have a 13 gallon trash can. Yeah. And I had... They were crushed, man. Yeah, if you crushed them, maybe. Uh, I had... Yeah, because we had a can crusher by the back door. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. If but, you crushed uh, them, they'd probably be pretty much worth it. But we had, like, two of them or something. And uh, we put them in our, that shitty shed back there. Yeah. But we didn't lock it. And then, like, because we was like, oh, man, we're going to get some money. Yeah. And uh, one day... We they saved were, they for were like two weeks, gone. Buddy. They were fucking gone. Yeah. The door was fucking swinging open like a movie. Like, yep. just holy shit. What happened back there? Yeah. You don't want to know. It was definitely... Yeah, it was definitely uh, probably our neighbor. But <laughs> our, our meth head or something. Yeah, but, uh, yeah dude. Was, I had... Uh, I was bummed out about that. I was like, dude, that's fucking like... Three cases of beer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no shit. That's the only reason why we ever saved cans. Yeah, we was like, just to yeah. like cash them in and buy more beer. All are free beer. Yeah. We would, yeah, yeah we would invite... Nobody knows. We would invite <laughs> other people over and we'd see they drank liquor and we'd be like, let's not invite them next weekend. Yeah. Because we don't get nothing out of them. Yeah. Bring they would drink pop off out of a plastic bottle. Beer cans. Yeah. I'm drinking pop off out of a plastic bottle. Get the yeah. fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you're not drinking cans. We don't like bottles because of the ducks. Yeah. yeah. I always worry about the ducks. Yeah. And plus, you were trying to make that fishing net out of, <laughs> of six-pack rings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because your hatred for turtles. Yeah. <laughs> 
remember he had like a giant he had a giant fucking stack of these six pack rings it was, a, and he was, it like, was actually a no, joke I know it was a joke and everybody else probably does too but you were like I'm gonna <laughs> go to Florida with somebody in a couple weeks and I'm gonna throw him in the ocean <laughs> yeah <laughs> I continued that when I moved out. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, Candace came over and I was like, check all these out. <laughs> you got like a folder and you open it. Yeah. And it's just full yeah, of I had like, it was in my underwear drawer. It was like <laughs> four pairs of underwear and like all 300 fucking six pack rings. Yeah. Or most people hide their fucking butt plugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to murder some dolphins yeah. with these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're too smart. They're gonna fucking gain on yeah. us. I was like, and I gotta get rid of. Yeah. Them. I was like, you know what? I could fucking do the goal. <laughs> the goal. Take me to the goal. Yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. I would never do that though. Oh man. I, I actually still like. I cut those up. How oh, do you? Yep. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, I just do. I also just pitch unused straws in the trash all the time, too. Cause what are you going to do? Well, how's that hurt you think? I don't know. You don't remember everybody freaking out about plastic straws? No, oh. I do that. <laughs> I, uh, for like a while, sometime last year, maybe, everybody was like, you can't fucking throw away straw. You got to move to metal straws. Reusable metal straws and plastic oh, straws shut and shit. The fuck up. Yeah, and like, whatever. I don't give a shit. Yeah. How about we talk about. Now, this is one real quick. I want to talk, boy, so I can record my farts. Oh, yeah, like a, one of those Walkman recorder things. Yeah. And, the, and It'd talk be better boy. than the phone, and plus, like. Yeah. And, you know, you don't want to fucking fart in your phone. Well, I don't know, because with the phone, you have the option to name your phone. Well, she has not farted in the phone. <laughs> you keep it right next to your fucking balls and quit. Yeah. Okay. I wake up and it's, like, fucking in my fucking cheeks. <laughs> you know? But the uh, pros of a talk boy is it's got that snout that you can stick yeah. right by your butthole. But the pros of a phone is you get to name every part. Yeah. So it's up in the air for me. Up in the, it's up in the broken wind for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, one time uh, Shane went to Florida. And for some reason I was like, I'm going to have some special for him when I come back. So I had a fucking blank tape, and I just recorded, like, fucking two hours on the car. <laughs> just, and, there, you know, everyone was like, you know, something like, watch it go. Yeah. You know. Hey, like, you know what sucks is he probably never made his way through the entire thing. And hey, you put work into that. I did. Work and chimichangas. Yeah, it, well, we got through like like two minutes laughing our ass off, and he was like, okay, and then... But it's probably still I listened to it like 80 times. <laughs> yeah. Me, myself, I perfected each part, yeah. and I yeah. recorded yeah. over parts yeah. that weren't meant to be. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he does not realize genius. Yeah. I, yeah, you worked on that. Yeah. So I wish I still had that, dude, because it was really good. Oh, yeah. Really good. <laughs> Real good. Redemption of Dio. <laughs> but yeah. So we're going on to the next album review. Yeah, man. Let's go for it. Derek gave me Death Cult. The test of time. Yep. They're from Chicago. And let me say this again, they're from Chicago. I know it's so fucking close that yeah. you kinda wanna like Yeah. Go see go to Chicago yeah. and like walk around and see if you see these guys. Yeah. I don't know, Chicago's pretty far away though. It's like fucking six hours. Five or six hours. So I went to see a festival thing there. Oh yeah? yeah? It was like six hours. <clears throat> From Chad's house in Zulard. But uh, anyway, so he gave me that. We did a podcast on Tuesday, which we usually never do. Yeah. And uh, he gave me that album, and I listened to it on Bandcamp. And, you know, after you listen to the album, you usually can't 
listen to it anymore. You know, you space like, it may, out. Maybe twice. You can listen to it twice, and if you don't listen to it for another month, you can listen to it twice again. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But, uh, they gave me that, and, uh, I couldn't find it on YouTube, Spotify, all that bullshit. Yeah, I didn't realize how underground this band was. Yeah. And, uh, so I was like, fuck, today, I, uh, I couldn't find them, so I bought the CD today, and so they were gonna fucking send me stickers and shit, so that's cool. But, uh, I don't even have no band, no Death Cult stickers. We're yeah. wearing a Death Cult shirt. I'm, I live Death Cult. Which, by the way, they make good fucking merch. That's fucking yeah. rad as shit. I love right that there. shirt. I love that shirt, man. Yeah. Simple. Oh, I get it now. It's like Death. <laughs> oh, like I Death the Band. Just, like Death the Band. Yeah, yeah it is. That's isn't it? that, uh, fucking thick it's got thing. The, yeah, it's got the sight. That's oh, it. Up. I didn't even know that till now. I, did, I didn't either. That's Welcome it, to the wonders. It? Welcome to the wonders of podcasting. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably it. Yep, probably so. But uh, I don't really care for death. <laughs> I, I did. I like, I like some of their stuff. Their early stuff. I like their first two albums, man. First yeah. album and Leprosy. Uh, rest, they kind of get weird. But uh, yeah, Death Cult, the test of time. It was funny because uh, whenever he gave me that album, I was already on Spotify. It was like Death Cult. And there was an album, and I was like, okay, it's a black metal band. And it was like, well, that fits me pretty well. Cold of the Goat. Yeah. So I started listening to that, and I was like, ah, it's pretty cool. So then I started looking for him, but I couldn't fucking find him. And uh, then to turn out, it's a totally fucking different band. Which, by the way, this band is totally fucking better. <laughs> yeah. Totally fucking better. They're from Chicago. They're, uh, I don't know. Basically, just fucking. I don't know what to call it other than just metal. Just fucking. Um, Heavy metal. metal. It's extreme metal, maybe? I, I typically Progressive say. Progressive blackened. I don't know. It's blackened a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, black. whenever it's, it's blackened, real. it says blackened crash. But, uh. Maybe. Uh, it's real crunchy. It's too crunchy for crash, yeah. you know? They have goddamn. But I was listening to it, and, uh. I was like. So the song I was gonna pick for it was fucking. Like, The Test of Time. Yeah. And then, next song. Hell, the Antichrist. Yeah, buddy. And then the next song, the, I was like, well, I like them fucking all. I, I like <laughs> yeah. it. Dude, I like this whole fucking album. It's, it's a non-stop album. I absolutely love this fucking band. you got to check this band out. Seriously. Yeah. I'm not joking, dude. And uh, I listened to this album three times today. And... No, no, that's... I give this, and I'm, I try to be a tough-ass critic. Yeah. Easily. Fucking three and a half out of five call cans. Right on. But, uh, yeah, and I, I bought the CD. Yeah. So, yeah. And I haven't bought a CD in a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah, I love this fucking band, man, and... If you like any of that shit, like, even fucking, you know, if you like your goat whore or whatever. Just something straight up metal that almost, like, you don't yeah. need to classify it as anything. It's just so fucking metal that you just, this it's is just a metal. Band, this is a band I could see opening up for goat whore. Yeah, definitely. But, and, uh, yeah. With that goat whore being as popular as they are now. Yeah, goat whore definitely, goat whore is definitely, like, headliners now. Yeah. So, yeah, I could definitely see them, like, going on tour with them. And, uh, so if you like that kind of shit, man, dude, fucking evil dig the fuck out of this, man. But I love the fucking album. I love it. I'm gonna fucking follow them from now on. And they make great merch, man. Derek's wearing a badass shirt. <laughs> so, uh, never fucking go. Yeah. Uh, and what song did you pick? Well, I'm gonna get into that. The way that I kind of got into, like I got into this band, I just kind of heard them, and I ordered this album 
crunch it up. And I ordered uh, another album off the same record company. And I never got them. It was like, like after a couple months, I sent messages and I uh, filed a claim on PayPal because I didn't get it. And uh, I got my money back. And then I found it somewhere like on Discogs or something. And I just rebought it. And uh, so later on, I go through the I go through this uh, Do or Die Records company, and they got they only got like four like four or five bands or something on there. But I a sticker on our table, yeah. and it's fucking cool. Yeah. But there was only like four or five bands on this record company. So I listened to all of the fucking bands, and I'm like, good? oh yeah, every single band on this that's, record. That's what I was, I was like, man, they look like they're fucking the Every shred. fucking, yeah, every fucking band on this record company kicks ass. Uh, and so. That's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to check out the other bands with like the three other bands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I message the record company and I'm like hey I never got my CDs uh, I'm really interested in all the stuff that you guys are putting out like where can I get a hold of it never got any message back so I go a little deeper and I find out that the guy that runs the record company's name is Tim Pearson and uh, I message him directly I actually I find him on Facebook is what I did and I see like not only is he the dude that runs this record company, he's in Death Cult, he's in Relentless, the band, which is another fucking amazing band, and he's in a band called Noose that I just played earlier. So he runs this shit? And, and, he, and it's a one-man thing. Like, he has nobody else. He records all these bands. He goes on tour with the two or three... Yeah, this, this is his, like, just him. He goes on tour with these three bands that he's in. He's a busy fucking guy. Yeah. So, I felt bad that I, like, filed a claim on PayPal and got my money back. And complained and shit and was like, oh, yeah, I never got my fucking CD. But this dude was on tour. He couldn't send me the fucking CD. He didn't even know I ordered it, you know? But right now, he's not doing nothing. Uh, but he messaged me. It was, like, six months or something. Afterwards, I added him on Facebook and sent him a message saying, like, hey, dude, uh, every I listen to every fucking band on your record company. How do I get a hold of these things? You're in Chicago. You're not that far away. If you guys ever come around here on tour, tell me. I'll meet up with you. And, like, I want to buy every CD that you got of, these band, of all these bands. <laughs> So he messages me back, like, maybe a couple months later, and he's like, dude, I have no excuses for the fact that I haven't been around. He's like, I've, I've had just a bunch of shit going on. I've been on, you know, he was on, like I was saying, he's on tour. He's, he's trying to record new bands. He's got a few new bands. There's one called The Raider, and they're coming to St. Louis. And I've heard that. Dude, they're fucking rad. Yeah, I've heard that. They're, and uh, it's like the drummer of Pro Botanica and, like, really? a, another band called Finn. Dude, it's, they're really fucking good. Fucking well, He may be playing in that band, too. He, he was recording them, and I think that they may have lost a member, and he might be in it now. Oh, but, uh, yeah, like they're fucking great, too. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he sent me this big, like, apologetic email about how, like, hey, man, I'm sorry I never sent you your CD. There, there's no fucking excuse for that. I really should have been on, on the ball with this. So he sends me a fucking box yeah. in the mail, and I open it, and it's everything the Do or Die Records has ever put out. It's a shit ton of stickers and patches and CDs and pins and, like, some other stuff that's not even affiliated with the record company. That's so good. Yeah, and I was like, whoa, dude, you didn't need to send me all this shit. And, like, a, a shirt, like, merciful fate pins and patches and shit. Like, just stuff that, like, I had no business for him to send me. Yeah, like, he's just an awesome fucking guy. And not only to mention that, though, but, like, listening to Death Cult and Relentless and Noose, this dude is like a rich master that deserves a sword named after him. Like, like the riff, yeah, the riffs in that fucking Death Cult album. I don't know, man. They, dude, the the title track uh, test the time. Yeah, the, the the beginning of it, I was just like, oh fuck yeah, and was, it goes on for like a like, minute. Yeah, I was just like, God, I was like, 
that's the song I want. Yeah. And then uh, the next song, I was like, that's the song I want. Hail the Antichrist, I was yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I think our first episode I played. Then, uh, yeah, I was, then after that, I was like, fuck it, dude, the whole album. The whole fucking great. album, yeah. I think our first episode I played Mutant Generation in the back, like on my playlist. Yeah. And like, ever since then, I've been like, fuck, I want to play, I want to pick Death Bolt, you know, like. I uh, am, yeah, I fucking extremely love this fucking album. It's man. so good. Uh, anytime any artist has a song about or even like a lyric that says "Born to Lose," yeah. I lose, I lose my fucking shit. Like I'm like, yeah, I'm born to fucking lose, but like, and so "Born to Lose" is the song that I'm gonna. Play. I said while I was listening to the album, I was like, uh, I seen the track "Born to Lose" and I was like. I was on a Motorhead fucking cover or something. Right. And uh, But no, it's fucking... No, no it's, a, it's a mean it's, one. It's it's really fucking good. Yeah. It's all their own shit, man. They're fucking... Okay. Check these guys out, yeah. dude. Do what I records, man. Check that fucking yeah. shit out, man. Right. This is class out... Class A all-out banger masterpiece fucking album. Ugh. There ain't no fucking poems... There ain't no drama. There ain't yep. no fucks. Yeah. Dude, it's it's straight up. Get to the point. Let's yeah. fuck straight it. to the point let's fucking metal. Fuck and it looks fucking thrash and shit. Yeah. There ain't no subtle subtlety. Yep. There ain't no it's just fucking hard mean ass riffs, madman yep. lyrics. Yeah. It's dude, it's straight up like hey. It's, it's a pure we, dose. It's like, hey, we play fucking mean shit from Chicago. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. they even say that it like we're you know, we come from Chicago, we have no class. Yeah. There you if go. If you don't like it, kiss my ass. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good fucking it's classic. It's not classy. Yeah, it's straight up fucking metal and nothing that's, else. That's, that's what I love about it. I gotta it. say, that's a house for church. So yeah. yeah, it's a it's straight up metal. There ain't nothing else to it, and that's what I love about it. It's a no bullshit type of album. You get what you get. This is definitely a band that's fucking. Um, uh, they're they're in my library. I'm fucking dude. Check these motherfuckers out, man. Yeah, buddy. These guys are gonna. They're gonna do like something. I know they're gonna do. Fuck something. yeah! And Noose is awesome. And fucking Relentless is great. Okay. So yeah. I don't know what song you got, man. Born to lose. Yeah. Fuck. Here we go. Here we, we go. go. Born to lose. Smoke weed.
You know, how do you explain that? Yeah, how do you explain, like, this is just, I get really drunk I was sometimes. like, look, man, like, yeah, I was like, I'm comfortable. <laughs> I kissed you. I said your scruff was cool. I'm not gay, though. Yeah. But, it's hard uh, for people to understand. I don't know, man, but that was a thing, and uh, it turns out this chick that I was talking to uh-huh. knows that guy, and she quit talking to me like two days afterwards, and I'm pretty fucking positive that's why. Oh, yeah? You think yeah. she liked the dude? Or what's going like, on? Friends wait, with what? the guy? I don't fucking know. Huh? Uh, yeah. I don't fucking know. Which really fucking sucks. That was so close to being. She's, so you think she stopped talking to you because you think you're a uh, gay dude? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> huh. yeah. Weird. I had a similar thing kind of happen to me one time. I was at uh, like a BMW or something with my mom and my brother. And uh, we were just... I was... You know whenever you want people to see you drunk... Yeah. You drink real fucking hard, real fucking heavy. Yeah. Because you're like, I want these people to know that I have a good time. So I was, you know, like, my mom had never been around me drunk, and uh, my brother, I just started drinking really, so, like, nobody had ever really seen me drunk. So what was you, like, 19? Probably. <laughs> something like two, 21. Two yeah, probably 21 or something. So I go into this bar, and I'm, like, hanging out with, like, my family, which is always weird in a bar. But I'm getting, like, as drunk as I fucking can so I can show them that I'm really funny when I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, that shit happens all the time. And uh, there's some, like, older dude there. I don't remember... I don't remember nothing about him, actually. But... Uh, everybody at the bar was telling me, like, hey, stay away from that guy. He's kind of weird. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, hold on. So I keep going up to, and he's sitting, like, right at the part of the bar where you got to go up to order. <laughs> so I keep going up to the bar and ordering beers every fucking six minutes or whatever it is. And, like, he's like, oh, you like to drink, huh? And I'm like, hey, I'm fucking I'm young. I'm 21, whatever. And then I start getting shots, and I start drinking beers, and I'm, I'm making a mess of myself. <laughs> and uh, Did you order wings? No, it wasn't. It was like a BFW, so I don't know if they have food. I'm not uh, sure. They but, uh, do they? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But I just get total fucking wrecked, and apparently I start talking to him. Like I, I keep going up there to order beers and shit, so he's there, and like, he talks to me while I'm waiting for my beer and shit. And it just keeps happening. And he gives me his number at some point. Or maybe I gave him my number. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know how it happened. So you had a gay experience, too. It, it was pretty close. So, like, for the next two months, I'm getting texts from this guy, like, every couple days or something. Just like, what are you doing? What are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm going to work, dude. It's, uh, like I told you, I work fucking... This schedule and like, dude, I thought the same, and I was like, man, this guy just don't get it. But uh, it's at the same time. It's Apparently, like, that's what I call well, flirting. Well, 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 then I thought about it. And I was like, well, there's probably, you know, there's less gay dudes than chicks. So, but yeah, I mean, whenever you're in this small area. Yeah. If you're gay, like, your options are fucking limited. You I mean, have to, like, I mean, basically... I, I would be the same way, you know? You like, have to convert or rape some straights. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, totally, yeah. You don't have any other options. Like, if you gotta get off, it's the sock drawer or this. Like, yeah. So it was like, yeah. Which, by, by all means, the sock drawer is always better. <laughs> I like jacking off, yeah. Yeah, I prefer jacking off to everything. <laughs> uh, dude, I haven't jerked off in three days. Why? I don't see any cast on your fucking hands. I know. It's, uh... I don't know. Things happen, man. You're uh, busy, too busy. You were off all day today. What's your fucking excuse? It, well... Uh, well, my mom fucking woke me up. Ah. Uh, we're not gonna get into that. And then she's in the hallway going, God, God damn, you need to feed Dave. Dude, it'd be hard to jerk off with your mom within 50 miles. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's so loud. I know. And she's always talking. So that's basically it, yeah. Yeah. 
I like have to palm my dick and punch it yeah. in order to get off. Like I'd really have to put a whooping on it. Yeah. Just to get off with your mom anywhere near. Because she's so loud. Yeah. <laughs> I jerked off last week though. I don't jerk off as much. That's sad. That's and so when sad. I do, and when I do, like last week I jerked off laying down. Face down, dude. <laughs> dude. Face down. Dude, it, it shot to my shoulder. Oh! That's never happened to me before, but I was like, it's kind of cool. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Crazy shit. Yeah. But we're here to talk about music, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So, I, I do want to say that I think that these types of podcasts are the podcasts that I get into and they're the ones that I prefer that are just fun and you're talking we talk about the shit that we love yeah. and uh, our day to day our day to day kind of shit the, the funny observations like yeah. stuff like that we're, we're here to just kind of have fun we're not here to shit talk anybody and uh, I always hate it whenever podcasts become like they're either too informative or they're too like political or like they're too like trying to stand around like this is what should dude this anything is. political is bullshit yeah but here, here's the thing that I'll I think I, I guess, I guess, I guess I'm gonna start talking shit you're talking about not talking shit I'm gonna start talking shit well like, here's the thing anything political sucks it does and like I think I said this on the 12th episode is like politics is just a way to hate somebody that you don't know yeah. Like, you don't know this person, but you hate them because their race or their color or their religion or, or their politics or something. Like, yeah. all that stuff. And, and there's no point. Dude. You, don't, you don't know this person. You should not be hating her. Yo. Yeah. Dude, politics is grown-up gossip. It is. It's it a way to gossip outside nothing. of high school. It means nothing. It means fucking nothing, dude. Is it going to get you anywhere? Fuck no. It's not going to get you no fuck pussy. Yeah. You just like fucking gossiping. Yeah. That's all it is. So, yeah. Anybody that likes fucking political shit, uh, go fucking, uh, I don't know, listen to Creed or something. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. That's the nicest way to put it, I think. Yeah, seriously, though. Fuck you, man. Seriously, like... You know? But, yeah, the, the podcast that I do listen to... They, they usually at least start out as like friends drinking, hanging out, and talking about shit that they love. Yeah. And like a lot of bands, like oh, well, bands, a lot of podcasts, like they divert from that later on. They're like, no, we're we've been pretty informative on our podcast, so we have to research and study and blah blah blah. So, no, dude, I'm here because like I want to like I'm I'm at work right now and I want to listen to people hanging out and talking, yeah. so I can divert myself from being at work. Like that's what podcasts I think are about they're about taking you away from the shitty situation that you're in you're at work you're doing whatever I don't or listen. sometimes you're just doing dishes you know like no I don't listen to our podcast I don't listen to a lot of podcasts I listen to ours like before I, I post it I don't just because I man it's like god I gotta listen to music oh uh, yeah honestly I the last like, couple episodes here and there man I've listened to like three of our podcasts so I mean fuck it we were there right I don't remember it but we were yeah. there I've listened That's to like three I mean. of them total yeah, yeah. I mean, I did the same thing with, uh... And not the whole thing. Yeah, I did the same thing with Hammer. Like, fuck it, I was there. Yeah. I know the songs I played, and that's really all that matters yeah. to me. So. Yeah, but like, why the hell would I talk? Like, why would I listen to myself hanging out when I could just that's all this be really cleaning is. and listen to the music? Yeah, that's all this really is, is like, or, yeah. for me... It's, it's uh, And you know, there are some things that I write down, like in my notes and stuff, and we talk about it. We get fucking, we get passionate oh, about man, it. Oh, man, we get real. And the next day, I think I may be less angry because, of, you know, like yeah. you're, you're venting, you're getting that shit out. Yeah. You feel good. I do not feel good after podcast. I do too, man. Every well, fucking actually, time. Emotionally, I do. Emotionally, Physi- I do. Right. Physically, I do. My uh, brain feels awful. <laughs> physical, physically, I feel like, oh, it's going to take till next Saturday. But 
I end up drinking that now. Uh, yeah, I always end up drinking the next day, too. This is... This is an alcoholic music lover's podcast. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, if you're not a bitch to listen to this... <laughs> yeah, bitch. Seriously. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I want to hear if I'm listening to a podcast. And even, like... Um, People will freak out about the Rizzuto show, the local point podcast, whatever. Oh, that's really That's really all good. that this is except for drinking. We just do the exact same thing. We talk about music, we talk about other shit. We're we're but we're drinking. Yeah. And we and we uh have music that we like. Yeah, and we play music in the background. We don't listen to the fucking radio, man. Yeah, sorry. Check this out, man. I was at work the other day. There's a fucking 21 year old. I think he's kind of slow. <laughs> and, uh, he was, uh, he's doing prep in the back and uh, he's listening to like Eminem in the WA and stuff. You know, all that bullshit. Yeah. And, uh, it's like, yeah, man, you know who this is? You know who this is? He's like, yeah, that's what I grew up with. I'm like, dude, you got a lot to fucking learn. Oh, yeah, imagine being like, you Like you can get into... Uh, it's like, like when, I was, when I was your age, I, I knew, like, twice as much as that. Right. Oh, I do that quite a bit, too. Like, and people you know, in their is, 20s that are just... People just listening to the fucking radio. Yeah. People in their 20s and such, like, just getting into metal, and they're, like, starting to, like, hey, have you heard this band? I'm like, dude, uh, this is a big fucking rabbit hole you're about to go down. Yeah. And really, you don't need to be talking to me about it, because yeah. you're not going to like anything I show yeah. you. It's people at work. Because it's a chain. It's, like, you get into things, like, deeper, darker, yeah. heavier, grittier. Yeah. It's a whole fucking chain. And if, like, somebody's, like, just... That's finding new cradle of filth, and they're like, "It's a great up, man. You yeah, grade you, you, up. You upgrade yourself to a point where you're listening to the nasty. And it sucks, man, because I like I'm at work, and uh, people, people basically think I don't listen to music. Because, yeah, because I'm Same sick of fucking here. telling them about shit. Yeah, but it, in in reality, it's like, dude, you, I. I'm your god. I listen to music <laughs> every single fucking second of the day that I can. Yeah. I I always think that too, and I They're always like, dude, he was he was like, yeah, that Chevelle. Yeah. I was like, all right, man. I posted the my, fuck out of here. my fucking CD shelf one day after I put the shelf together and put it up and put all the CDs on it. I took a picture of it and posted it. And somebody at work was like, holy shit, dude, you got a lot of fucking music, and I'm like. I got more than that. I got cassettes and tapes and shit. Like, you know, I got cassettes and vinyls and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, holy shit, really, dude? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you like Bullet for My Valentine? And I'm like, god damn it, no. Yeah. Like, you know, like, go and, on. Yeah, how do, you, how do you like that much music and not like this radio band? And that's what I keep running into is people go like. Yeah, you want to fucking hit them in the head and be like. Radio is the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. People will constantly, they see how much music you're into, and they go, do you like radio hit song, band, like, whatever? And I'm like, no, dude, that's that's the thing. If you're a music fan, you don't like the top 40, because the top 40, you should know this by the time you turn 16, but the top music that gets played on the fucking radio is the stuff that the record companies have paid extra money to get played on the fucking radio. It doesn't mean that they're any better or good, or it doesn't mean that they're, like, a hit is not actually a fucking hit. It's not a song that got recorded and people just thought it was amazeballs. Yeah. A hit means that somebody paid a shit ton of money to get that song on the radio so people would like it. Yeah. And it's the same fucking way. And idiots like it. Yeah. Basically, if you listen to the radio... If you like that band, there's a 90% chance we just have nothing in common. Exactly. And I get it because people want to like shit that they can be can have something in common with other people. So, like, 
Yeah, people listen to the radio. Everybody listens to the radio. So, like, we all know the same songs and we can talk about yeah. them. I get that. But, dude, if we were viewed like radio music, we would probably be benefiting from YouTube. Like, we'd be getting money. I don't think we would. I think we'd be getting sued. But, uh, you know, if we tried to do some fucking radio No, no, it's shit. unreal, man. It's fuck. Dude, I don't listen to your shit. It fucking sucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like if we, if we reviewed radio shit and yeah. told them that, that it was yeah. awful? Yeah, hey, like, you know, like the new fucking Seether album or something. Yeah, no shit. What's Amy Lee been up to lately? Oh. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Probably. Is, she, is, is she hotter now or like or not? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. I, I will tell you this. She's still flat, so she's dead in my book. Yeah. Ah! I don't know. She's got legs. Yeah, she does have nice legs. But, uh, yeah. And that's fucking... That's fucking it right there. I think we should call this one a day. Oh, yeah? yeah. How long have we got? Um... Hour 10. Well, you got some, oh, you got some I got stuff. I got lots of shit. Let's fucking roll. Okay. I got some beers. All right. All right, buddy. Yeah, that's the point. We shouldn't stop until we're done with beers. Uh, well, it's going to be a long walk. Yeah, no fucking shit. <laughs> I don't think we're going to stop for long. Plus, I'm not at the end of my playlist yet, and I mastered the shit. I really want to get to the Yawpers. Yeah. After that, I'm done. What you got? What do you think is the coolest band mascot or icon? Such as like Motorhead, like Eddie, like Eddie, or like Motorhead, like uh, whatever that guy. Motorhead had one. Well, yeah, Motorhead has the the dude with it's the thing with the helmet and then the the. Well, yeah, that's, that's their logo. Well, yeah, that's their logo, but well, so their, uh, that's their logo, icon. Logo. Okay, I got you. Or uh, who else? Sodom. Sodom has the dude with the gas mask. He's got a name, but it's foreign. So. Dude, I'm gonna straight up. I'm gonna go, dude. I'm gonna go fucking dancing chocolate. You think so? Yeah, I, I love that. Oh. It is really cool. You know what it means. Yeah. You see it, and it, and not only that, but you like you see it on your older electrical appliances and shit. Yeah. I remember like hooking up speakers to speakers. Yeah, and, and it then, had that then seeing that. While I was like a Manson fan, yeah, like holy shit, yeah, you know, and it uh, meant something to me. And uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, I don't know that that is a pretty cool logo though. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Okay. What do you got? Ah, uh, you know I didn't take much thought into this, like what I was gonna say. Uh, and dude, I'm not even fucking kidding, man. Hell Emperor fucking rules. Who? His album, Hell Emperor. Oh, yeah. It yeah, fucking right. rules. Huh. Have you listened to it? Nah, not so much. No, I might have to give it to you, man. You probably will. It's gonna... It's gonna be what it is. You'll like it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, okay, now seeing this, I want to say it. One of my favorite, like, icon kind of things that's going on right now, like one of the newer ones, Bone Hunter always uses a bear with, yeah. like, with like a spacesuit kind of thing going on. Yeah. And I am eating that shit up. I, I do love like that. that shit. That is I do like that. Yeah. I dig their bear. Yeah, their bear theme. It's, it's right like there. a grizzly coming at you. Yeah, their bear theme thing that they got going on is fucking kick ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, I also, I mean, I love the Motorhead thing and the Sodom thing. Yeah. And Eddie, you know, Eddie's whatever. Yeah. Uh, I can't really think of too many. Like, there's so many bands that do it. You know, they 
they place a certain object or a symbol or a sign or something on all their own. Well, I mean, I also like the descendants. The uh, oh yeah, yeah, the dude with the, the high top or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like him. Yeah, that's awesome. That's that's uh, Milo. Milo, is his name? Got a name? Yeah, Milo. That's a singer. That's fucking sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah. Milo, he knows coffee. He, 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 uh, he went the band and went to college, and then he came back. Which uh, they made that fucking album. Milo goes to college. Oh yeah. Man, I prefer the. He's fucking... a scientist. <laughs> say I prefer the like icon mascot kind of thing over like the singer being the most popular face of the band. I kind of I kind of hate that. I kind of hate whenever the singer is like the face known for the band and like every time you see a picture representing the band it's always the face. When it comes to the descendants it's really not. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's, 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 it's the the drummer Bill Stevenson. Yeah. Uh, he uh, produces like so many fucking punk albums. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like some of the best ones, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what? Uh, you got anything you want to rant about? Oh well, yeah, to rant about. Uh, nothing much, man. Uh, Tinker's fucking delivery service. Yeah. Uh, oh, big. One. I was there the other night. And I was like, yeah, so is that thing fucking... Up in arms, going at it? Yeah. He was like, no, it's not taking off. And I was like, uh, maybe it's because it's a $30 minimum, and you you're don't even... you spread some fucking knowledge is what you are doing. Yeah, I was like, maybe because it's a $30 minimum, and you're fucking hours, and you don't really have much shit on the fucking online. So you spread it some fucking truth. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So like that's why otherwise I would have fucking you know I would have done it like fucking thirty times by now. But yeah. I'm like six houses down the road and I still would have done it by now. Yeah, I know. Hey, yeah, like I still would have done it by now if it was actually worth a fuck. But you were like, you told me about the $30 minimum, the, you, you know, the, it's from four to six or some shit. Like, it, it's, it, like, it's like Tuesday through Thursday, the, the point four of, to eight. The point of delivery, the point of delivery is being more convenient. Yes. So you're making a, a bunch of inconvenient shit. It's really shit. not convenient. No, no part about it is actually convenient. Yes. I don't want to look at my... I remember being on fucking... You want to trade a beer so you can have one of these green taps? I really do. Right. But... I don't want to trade back. What? <laughs> <laughs> I remember working at SRG and I got off at like 7 in the morning. And like I, there was no other time in my life that I was more pissed off that there wasn't like a 24-hour pizza place. The fact that I had to wait till 10:30 yeah. to order a pizza to get it by 11:15, yeah, like just pissed me off every day because normally I would go to bed at like 10:30, mm-hmm. but if I wanted a pizza, which I always did because I was fucking drunk by 10.30. Definitely. You know, I got off at 7 o'clock in the morning. I was drunk by 10.30. Mm. So I kept fucking ordering pizzas at 10.30 and trying not to pass out and staying up too late and only getting like three hours of sleep. It was a wreck, man. It was a fucking wreck. Your yeah. hours are the... You know, you, Business comes from convenience, and if you're not being convenient all the time, like, it's definitely not. A 24 convenient. hour pizza place is all I want out of life. It is not <laughs> convenient, man. Yeah, I just want a 24 hour pizza place. So, yeah. I don't yeah. know. So, yeah, figure that shit out. Figure it out. Figure it out, man. Maybe not the $30 thing. Maybe, uh. Figure it out. Better hours. Figure it out. Maybe 24 hours, no delivery thing? 
Let's do it. Seriously? Yeah, they were just a 24-hour gas station. See, I mean, uh, that's what Who's Your Daddy? Before it was Tinkers, it was Who's Your Daddy. Dude, dude, they're spending money on the delivery thing, which they're not getting up. They're not getting any money out of it. Or at least do it until fucking 1 in the morning. But here's the problem with everybody that owns that fucking shop is they think that they need to only hire like three people. Yeah. Well, this is three people. This is a family-owned thing. Yeah, I understand that. But this is three people running. I kind of want to work there. I if it would mean more hours to the shop, I would work there. Like if they were to hire me just to work there, no. But if they were like, okay, so we usually close at nine. But you're gonna work nine to six, you know, like then fuck yeah, dude. I like make it twenty four hours, but you can't sell beer twenty four hours, so I guess. So I don't until know. one. Well yeah, until one. Close at one. That ain't gonna work no fucking nine to one. <laughs> no, I mean shit. Hey, here it comes, man. Are you ready for this? Hmm. Yeah, right yeah. here on the fucking podcast. We're yapping. Doing some yappers with some. Yeah, buddy. They did uh, Ace of Spades. Make more givers what I say. Really good. About some more, some, some, <laughs> some more, some other shit. Yeah, some Samoas. Samoas? I might have some Samoas and some some Samusus. Are you selling fucking cookies? Cokeheads? What? I don't know. So, what we got? I'm gonna get this out of the way. Are you gonna rant? Sort of. All right, let's do it. Um, Dream Theater put out a new album this year. All right, and the podcast is over. See you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Dream Theater put out a new album this year, and I have to say that it is one of the best albums that they have put out in a long fucking time. No, nope. but yeah. yeah, straight up. But I'm over that part of my life. Like I don't care about Dream Theater anymore. Yeah. I don't need a new Dream Theater album. When we lived together, you was like, yeah, all, I was big in Dream Theater. All about. It. Yeah. And it sucks because, like, I listen to this and it's better than that shit that I was trying to force down your throat, you know? Yeah. Like, it's better than Systematic Chaos and all that stuff. Like, it's so much fucking, like, it's way fucking better. But, like, you, I, would, you would love it back then. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If this album came out back whenever, like, Octavarium came out or Systematic Chaos, yeah. like, they would still be one of my favorite bands. But they took so long dawdling around, like, bullshit fucking styles that they wanted to go through that this album, like, it's amazing and I want it. But I'd never listen to it. I'd never make the time to listen to this hour and, like, 20 minute fucking album, you know? Like,. Yeah. Why do you guys do that? Yeah. I don't have time to, like, just put that shit on. That's what you guys do. Why do you guys wait fucking 15 years? If you're going to make an, uh, an album that's, like, almost two hours long, here's what you need to do. Charge a dollar for it because the people that are listening to it are unemployed. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, yeah. So, what do you think about the new tool? Speaking of fucking long, progressive albums, I didn't know it was available to listen to. No, I mean it's not. Oh, it's not still yet. No. When the fuck is that gonna come out? <laughs> it's it's uh, guaranteed this year. Hey, I will make time for any album by any band that I like or listen to. Like, I, I listen to that Dream Theater album. I listen to it all the way through. I made time to sit down and listen to it, and I loved it. Tool is And I'll do the exact same thing for that fucking Tool album. If you can tell me that that Tool album is two hours long, and I go, okay, I will set aside two hours to listen to this Tool album. 
but the fact that it's two hours means I probably won't buy it. I probably won't listen to it more than the time that I do. You know, like the thing is, like I think to listen to this new Tool album, you'll have to buy it. They're gonna make it that way. I think? feel like it is. Honestly, I'd complain, but I actually respect bands to do that. I did. I still like Tool. Yeah. I don't think the Tool's ever done anything wrong. I think they're... Uh, I think the 10,000 Days was their I weakest album. Oh, definitely. It was their weakest album, but I still loved it. Definitely. And uh, I think whatever they come out with next, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure it'll be better. I didn't even... I didn't like that album. I loved it. I, uh... Letter Alice... Lateralis was oh my god Lateralis was a shipwreck we, fucking amazing album we, compared to yeah, we were together on that album yeah whenever we bought that album like at the same day I remember I remember the uh, fucking video came out we yeah. ran downstairs to watch it me and Denver sat in front of the fucking TV four hours a night yep. watching MTV waiting for Schism to come on yeah. and it never did. And almost I think twice in those four days you called me after you went home and you were like dude that fucking video played after after I left. Yeah. Like I, I came home and turned on MTV and it was on. Mm-hmm. And I was like ah god damn it. But dude seriously yeah, I think Lateralis was like Lateralis was good, man. Watch yeah. the weather change. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's such a fucking good album. It was a great album, bro. And I, I, I think Ten Thousand Days is great, but it's it's got too many slow I, parts and interludes and stuff. Yeah. It, Dude, it's I, not I, I really wouldn't put that in their fucking. Well, I just fucking ditched that on the catalog. Really? I loved it, dude. I thought it was great. I, thought it was, I mean, there were some good songs, but I don't know, man. It's not cool. Yeah, I can. I can. You know what I mean? Well, I guess so. <laughs> but, uh... I'm glad that I have an opposing opinion. I, I, I like want, the album. I want to hear the fucking new one, so it's bad as anyone. Yeah. And apparently it's going to happen you know, for the next couple months. Yeah. And you know, uh, you say you don't like... 10,000 days yeah. but the people are freaking out about the new Tool album so apparently they like 10,000 days well, yeah. I, I'll agree with you though so it, there's people freaking I, out for that me, I've only heard under them right. for me like I like an album through and through and I will definitely say that I do not like 10,000 days through and through Like it, it has so many stops so many like my I'm favorite in- album of theirs is Anima. Oh yeah, my favorite album. I don't know if I've heard that one all the way through because you let me borrow that album. That's and, my favorite album of theirs, and it was it skipped a bunch, so I couldn't listen oh, to yeah. it all the way through. That's mine by far. I would like to get a hold of that. I would buy that album now. Uh, I'm gonna take that into recommendation, and maybe I'll just go out and get a hold of it. But cool, tool <laughs> is cool. In middle school, I had a tool shirt, and in the back I had that ridge. I had the same shirt. Yeah, the, the Dick French. Yeah. I got yeah, I did too. I got fucking sent to the principal office for that shit. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm really. Man, I want to fucking do it. Me too. Man, I've been getting all the years and years. It's gonna be really good. Yeah, I mean, so many years. It, it's been about 10 years now, hasn't it? 13 years 
since the last Tool album. Uh, oh, no, you got to be completely right because I was... 2000 uh, Days was 2006. Here's what happened. 10,000 Days, I got that album on my 21st birthday. Yep. So, yeah, it's uh, I'm almost 34, so 13 years old. So, fuck. Worth it. Oh, shit, are you 34 in June? 34 in May. Oh Coming up, bud. I'm 30. It's April. Yeah. You're in August, right? Let's get some aggression. <laughs> well, I could say we could probably wrap it up with that. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We're going to probably drink some more bears. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Eric and I'll listen to it cool. Yeah, we're probably going to listen to cool after this. Goodbye. Yeah, thanks a lot and shit. And, uh, Follow uh, us on Instagram and Twitter are Blacking Out WDND. Facebook. Facebook. Blacking Out with Denver and Derek. Uh. Catch all of our episodes on YouTube. Or just look up Black and Out with Denver and Derek on YouTube. All our episodes are there. Yeah. Or go to blackandout.com. No G, just blacking out. Yeah. Blacking out, no G. Pretty and, badass uh, site. Pretty fucking fantastic site. You can thank Daniel Callbriar for that. Me so trashy. Am I so trashy? Uh, she's fantastic. Wonderful woman. Indeed. I mean... Come yeah. back to America. You're not Because here. you're fucking beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, you're not a dumb dumb. You can figure out how to find a podcast that you like to listen to. Get excited about it, man. Come come into us like we would come into you, because I'm not going to come into you. <laughs> I don't know what we're fucking talking about anymore. But, anyways. Yeah. Like, Blacking out with Denver and Derek. Fuck, fucking look it up. Here's That's the thing it. you talk to us, we'll talk to you. And uh, we'll talk about you on the podcast. Yeah. Because this is what we do. We get fucked up, drunk, dude. And we talk about the shit that we experience. Yeah. Also, smoke weed. Smoke weed, we might prank call you. Fuck off. Yeah. Ash. 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 Ash.